So can you tell us a bit about your role at Cloudflare and how localization fits into the buyer journey? Sure. So Cloudflare is a SaaS business, right? So a lot of what we do is actually helping our customers, whether they have a web app, or a mobile device, or even an API, mm -hmm. help them make the, their internet properties more secure and also faster. Um, so from day one, we wanted to make sure that all these messages, the, the valid ads are actually known, right, by all the uh, cost, um, customers around the world in different languages, different cultures. Um, so when I joined Cloudflare three years ago, we wanted to make sure that we bring the right people, the talents, and also the processes uh, and technologies to actually help us scale mm. localization. Um, so yeah, I think um, so far we've been able to test different touch points along the customer journey. Right now we're doing um, support, we're doing uh, chat, mm -hmm. we're doing uh, marketing, we're doing uh, product. Uh, a lot of these are actually localizing multiple languages and we're get just getting started. Mm. Um, so what challenges and barriers do you see when it comes to streamlining localization? Yeah. Yeah, so I think managing change is uh, both challenging mm. and also rewarding in a way that growth means change. Growth also means breaking things mm. a lot. Um, so at Cloudflare, we actually adopt uh, this framework so people can actually try different ideas and innovate. Um, but at the same time, building a repeatable framework where people can actually, you know, kind of celebrate our learnings. Um, and when it comes to streamlining localization, it's also about communicating right communicating the vision of your team and also your company and um, in a way consistency is actually very important when it comes to international expansion globalization mm -hmm. so I think striking the balance of uh, global standards as well as local elements so you actually empower your local teams to be able to follow a set of processes so they can scale automate innovate mm -hmm. I think that's been a great learning for us okay wonderful Okay, and where do you see the direction of globalization going for large enterprises like uh, Cloudflare? Sure. So I'll summarize in uh, four trends. The first one is actually um, adding more languages mm -hmm. right, to the mix. Uh, right now we're doing most of this the fix, the CCJ case, but I do see the future to be you know, covering more South Asian languages, um, emerging European languages, as well as uh, some of the Middle Eastern languages. Mm -hmm. And then the second uh, trend that I'm seeing is actually um, going deeper in the verticals, FinTech. Um, gaming, mm -hmm. e-commerce. Um, so I think we're actually seeing the need to, uh, to have more um, talents with this kind of D-domain knowledge mm -hmm. who has the um, uh, the cultural fluency to help us go global at the same time uh, fine-tuning our strategy as well. Mm -hmm. And third one I would say is the faster time to market mm -hmm. at lower cost, yeah. right? thanks to the uh, development of AI and also machine learning. Mm -hmm. So um, what used to be kind of repetitive tasks and is something that we can actually give to machines so people can actually focus more on the um, strategic, more meaningful work right, mm -hmm. to help us innovate. So um, I think that is actually one trend that I'm really excited about. Um, and also it helps the enterprise justify their investment. So we're seeing actually a lot more marketing, actually global marketing campaigns right, uh, in the international expansion journey much early on. Mm. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Great, Claire, well thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having us. Thanks.